get into this. Love is blind because baby, once again, love is not blind. As soon as you see somebody, you be like, baby, that is not my type and I'm not as blind as I thought I was. And that's just period. <laughs> Love is Blind Sweden. What's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice back with another video, back with another review. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into Love is Blind Sweden. Shout out to all the people from Sweden that watched my video, that commented, that liked, that shared. I really appreciate y'all. I'm so sorry about butchering the names. I got a few recommendations on watching the subtitles instead of listening to the voiceover. But honey, I cannot read subtitles. I'm going to be too busy reading them, not watching the screen. It's going to throw me all off. So I'm going to keep watching it with the bad voice over. It's fine. I don't watch Love is Blind enough to know what's going on, honey. Okay. And also shout out to Joanna0988. She was like, let me try to break down these names for her. Katia, Johan, and Rasmus. Is that how you say it? Rasmus? Ras. We gonna get it together, regardless. Let's get into this episode, baby. Episodes three and four of Love Is Blind, Sweet. And let me tell you something: Love is not blind. I don't know why they keep trying to say that love is blind. Love is not blind. Cause as soon as you see somebody, you be like, "Listen, you ain't my type. You just ain't my type." And that's what we done see. Who should we start off with? We gonna start off with Johan crying on the shoulder of Oscar over Mira. Okay, listen. I don't know. I feel like Oscar ran a little game on her. I really do. He acted like he was this guy. He was perfect. I like the same thing you like. You got to watch out for them because I really call them love bombers most of the time because they act like everything's perfect. They're so perfect. It's all good. Mir was telling Johan, like, I like that Oscar has been straightforward. Uh, her gut tells her that it's Oscar. She's happy after her dates with Oscar. And Oscar gives her everything she could have ever wanted. Johan had a trouble communicating what he wanted. But he really did want her. But he had trouble opening up and telling her how he really felt. He was just very, I think, um, holding back. And she didn't like that. And I'm like, that's okay. He's different. But at the same time, I don't even know if she would have liked Johan when she seen him. I'm just saying. She might have said it was the culture thing too. But Oscar is a little corny. He's a little creepy to me. Just a little bit. I don't know. It's something in his eyes and the way he look that I just be like, mm, I don't know about him. Okay. But the way Johan was crying on Oscar's shoulder and then Oscar went in there and proposed and then was jumping with his feet and stuff and he was just so happy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Johan would have been good for her, but maybe he would have. Maybe he would have because her and Oscar are not clicking at all. Like, not at all. He seems like he's getting on her nerves. She can't stand him, okay? And then Johan went and proposed to another girl, Kimya. I don't know. That's not right, probably. It's probably not right. I apologize. Kimya, he went to a, um, propose to her after he was so sad about Mira. And then Mira told her, like, girl, that's odd. He was just upset about me and saying that I was the one he wanted to propose to. I was the one he wanted to be with. Then he proposed to you. And then Kimya was like, uh-uh, hold on. I'm not about to be nobody's sloppy seconds. It ain't gonna happen on my book, honey. I was like, ooh, what's gonna happen? So then when Johan and Kimya met up, she was like, baby, this is not, he was gonna pull out the ring. He was all nervous. She was like, baby, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This ain't gonna work. I think Mira is really the girl you love and that's who you want to be with. And I was like, oh, I respect her. Nobody in Love is Blind history has ever said, I don't want to be your second. Them hoes always be like, I'm gonna be the second. I'm gonna still marry him even though you was his second choice. And I mean, she was beautiful too. Don't get it twisted. Kimya was beautiful and I liked her even more. She had to break her own heart and not be selfish and tell that man, like, Johan, you really like Mira. You, that's your love. That's who you want. And are you still thinking about her? He's like, yeah, I'm still thinking about her. And I was like, what? Sir, you can't do that. Because when they would have got to the honeymoon, guess what? He would have been checking 
for Mira. It wouldn't have been giving Kimya the attention she needed. Baby, it was a whole hot mess. But I hope Kimya finds the man that she wants and needs. Because, baby, you deserve the goddamn world for doing that, baby. You a stronger woman than I am. I probably would have ended up his sloppy seconds because I'm so damn crazy. Who? And she said she had no doubt that Johan was who she wanted and that she wanted to experience this experience with and she wanted to go through it with, but she knows that he loves Mira. And I just said, wow. And I just feel like Oscar really ran game on Mira. I really do. She does not like him at all. Like she can't stand Oscar. I'm just keeping it real. Maybe I'm the only one that sees it. But I just don't think she likes him. And he was saying when they met, like, oh, you're so beautiful. They gave each other rings. And she said he don't look like her usual type. She likes dark features. And I'm like, okay. When they was on the honeymoon or whatever you want to call it, vacation holiday together, she was talking about they have different cultures. And I'm like, okay, Mira, if you're going to use that as an excuse, then why don't you date a man from your culture or a man that's going to understand it? I just think she's making up an excuse because I know you have dated men that aren't from your culture before. You just don't like Oscar. You're just not attracted to Oscar, which is okay because Oscar is a little creepy, a little corny, and I feel like he's just a man that'll say, what you want you know like um he gave this example of like he'll go all in and then it'll fizzle out so Oscar really sounds like a love bomber if you ask me okay I recently dated one love bomber Oscar says he's physically attracted to her he is head over heels but she's like did I make the right decision did I choose the wrong man she over there with Katia talking shit okay I said uh uh I heard Katia the mean in the corner but I like them I like them okay uh, she doesn't know him she's questioning herself and she said if they asked her today if she would marry Oscar she said no baby baby I don't think they are gonna make it to the altar I don't think so I don't think they're gonna get married I'm convinced that Oscar and Mira that's a no it's not gonna happen y'all tell me what y'all think about that let's get to Rasmus Okay, and Chrissy, I love me some Chrissy. Why do I think Sergio was trying to flirt with her? She's like, baby, you giving me the ick. Go on somewhere with all that chaos and drama and whatever you got going on. She is not a fan of Sergio, but her and uh, Rasmus, Rasmus, <laughs> I know I said his name right once. You know who I'm talking about. She talking about, I want to take it slow when they was in the jacuzzi. I said, baby, you ain't taking nothing slow. Y'all about to, let's get it on. Yeah, okay, they got it on. They did get it on the first night, and I hope it ain't him that got a baby on the way, but if it is, <laughs> we can see now because he's more into physical. See, I'm scared about that. That's why I don't like them girls messing with them on the little holiday or whatever because it can fizzle out real fast if you don't take your time. Uh, they went all the way. She said his snoring sounds like an ocean. I said, see, that's what happens. You talk about snoring sound like an ocean. Girl, that's what happens when you get some good D or you ain't had no D in a long time. You start hearing things. Snoring sound like snoring. And you probably got to fall asleep before him so you can sleep because he's snoring. I don't know. But they are the number one that I think will get married. But, 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 but. If he got a baby on the way, I would not recommend her marrying him. That's just too much mess and drama and it's going to be a new baby. That girl is probably a first-time mother. He's a first-time father. You don't want to instantly get into a marriage and play stepmama. Why? For what? If you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have to, don't play stepmama. Now, if you want to marry him later on in life after the baby is like five years old, that's fine. But you don't want to deal with no man with no newborn baby. I'm just going to tell you that now. But they the only couple that I could see walking down the aisle if. He ain't got no baby on the way. But if he got a baby on the way, she needs to just throw that in the trash. But I like that she was reading Sergio his goddamn rights. She knew for a fact. She is so pretty. She is so pretty. I really like her, okay? Let's get to Sergio and Amanda. Baby, he was upset. First of all, he's like, can I be your Shrek? I'm like, hell no, Amanda. Tell him hell no. But Amanda seems like one of those girls that's like, I love what's in the inside, not the outside. And it's like, baby, the outside got to match the inside. I mean, I ain't got to say he ain't got to be the finest, but he got to look like a little something, something, okay? 
she said she doesn't have a ring for him because she wants to do that at the altar. I was like, okay, that's fine. She didn't have his bracelet on because we all know that it was too big. He was upset that she didn't have a ring for him, that she didn't have a bracelet for him and said that he wasn't going to come on the holiday with her. He almost didn't come and that he was thinking about breaking up with her. He is so much drama. He is, I just can't. He gives me the ick also. It's too much drama. I know Amanda's going to try to make fetch happen, okay? She's going to try to make it work, but she should not, okay? He's starting fights with her over stuff that she already explained, telling her that she's not communicating. She didn't communicate that. She did communicate that the bracelet was too big in the damn pods and that she couldn't figure it out. And she even had the other women help her and they couldn't figure it out. I Listen. I think she would have been better off with him not coming and she just go home because I just don't like Sergio, okay? And she says she feels like he is testing her and I feel like he is and he's giving you a lot of drama for no reason. Like even when they was in that maze trying to find each other, he was playing games. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right. I'm just like, oh, I can't stand you. Don't play with me in this maze. Do not play with me. I need to find my way out. I don't need to find my way to you, but she found her way to him and then they found their way out. But girl, you shouldn't have found your way to him. Oh, anyways, he gonna have the nerve when they met all the other couples talking about, we the it couple. Where? Sergio, stop. He's like, yeah, we're the top. We've been communicating all that. We are that couple. I was like, Sergio, do you not see what we see? Because your personality is trash. That's why I said I'm with Chrissy on. He is chaos and she feels for Amanda because she knows Amanda's going to keep trying to fight at it, dig at it, keep trying to make this man happen. She should not. I can't stand Sergio. I, I can't. I can't. Now let's get to Christopher and Katia, right? Did I say it right? I'm going to say it right anyway. I'm going to say I said it right. The purple hair turned her off. And he talking about, yeah, I bought some extra dye if you wanted to help me dye it. And her face was disgusted. She can't stand this man. She thought he was going to be like Thor. Hey, Thor uh, from Australia, him and his brother that used to be married to Miley Cyrus. That's what she thought she was getting. An Australian surfer. That's not what she got. He owns porter potties, girl. He is an entrepreneur. You got Christopher the hippie. And that's fine. I don't even think he's really that bad. Look, especially when he got that hair tied up in a bun. And he told her that she's his dream girl, uh, that she makes him happy. But she's like, one day at a time, sir. And he realized that she hadn't gave him no compliments. She ain't really checking for him. And he said he is deep in love with her soul. I said, baby, I ain't never had no man tell me he was deep in love with my soul. But my whole soul, not just the heart, the soul, baby. I would have gave him some right then. I'm like, Christopher, how do you want it? <laughs> Face down, ass up. Whatever you need, baby, on the kitchen counter. Baby, that's all he would have had to run game on me. He would have got me. I'm in love with your, deep in love with your soul. Baby, ooh, mm. But Christopher ain't no dummy. He knows that she is not attracted to him. And I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think they're going to get married. I don't think they going to get married at all. I don't see it. I just don't see it. Because she's not into him. And it looks like Mira gonna meet Johan, so I can't wait for that meeting. Let's get to Lucas and Amelia. Baby, her and Christopher need to be together. Her and Christopher, because she seemed to be really attracted to Christopher when she seen him. She need to be with Christopher, because Lucas is not feeling her. But Lucas, baby, that body? <laughs> baby, I said, okay, Lucas, got a nice little body, okay? I like that they both read books. Uh, he's not physically attracted to her yet. And I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen because she was like, did you feel me? I took off my shirt when we were in the bed. He was like, no, I was asleep. I said, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, help us. Help us. He don't like her, okay? She's like, is this a best friend relationship? And he's like, I'm, I'm trying to build the attraction. He is not attracted to her at all. Will he probably sleep with her? Maybe. Because he'll think maybe it'll build the connection. But it ain't. And she says she's going to take a step back. I feel so bad for her in him because it's just not connecting at all. 
It's just not coming together. And maybe he should have chose the other woman, the name that I can't pronounce because I kept calling her Caroline, but that is not how you say it. But y'all know who I'm talking about that was leading with the SEX. Maybe he would have been more attracted to her because she was oozing all that sex appeal. He might have been more attracted to her because he is not attracted to Amelia. They are not touching. They are not kissing. You know, some of the couples was really kissy kissy and some of them were not, which of course people was complaining about that. Like, why are we not touching? Why are we not kissing? Uh, first of all, was the beach warm or was it cold? Because they looked like they was cold as hell on the beach, okay? I need a man to take me there, okay? I said, now this is cute. This is sexy, okay? I like this little villa y'all got going on here in Cyprus, okay? I said, baby, I need to go there. But Lucas and Amelia ain't going to make it. I don't think they're going to make it because of him. I don't think he's into her. I don't know. Love isn't blind. I've been saying it for years since I've been watching Love is Blind. It don't matter if it's in Sweden, Brazil, wherever. Love is not blind, okay? It just ain't. So, we're going to have to see what happens. Okay. Sergio and Amanda, it sounds like it's going to be some stuff with some religion or whatever, whatever. So, we're going to have to see what happens. Oscar and Mira, she going to meet Johan. I don't think they going to make it, okay? Uh, Ramis. And Chrissy, they might make it, but they just got a lot of fire right now. Because, you know, they, they, they done did it. So they got a lot of fire and they think they got chemistry. But sometimes that sexual chemistry is superficial chemistry, okay? Christopher and Katia, they ain't going to make it, okay? Amira and Katia was too busy over there throwing shade on their couples. They are not happy at all. Who was that that used to date Ramis? Ramis. Katia, Katia was looking at him, checking for him, and accidentally said his name when she was supposed to be saying Christopher's name, okay? Chrissy, watch your man's back, okay? Lucas and Amelia, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they can get some fire started, put some sticks together, and make the fire burn. I do not know, honey. I don't know if they're going to make it. And we're going to see what happens with Johan. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. But baby, I don't know. I'm excited about the next episodes because, who it looks like it's going to be a whole lot of drama. And it just seems like people is not into people now that they get to see each other in person. And Sergio is still my least favorite guy. I like all the women, but I do think... I don't know how I feel about Amelia if she's being pushy because she wants Lucas or is Lucas being a jerk and not really trying. I'm not too sure, but it's making her feel undesired. It's making her feel insecure. So I don't like that. And Sergio is just pure insecure. Amanda ain't did nothing. He's just insecure, <laughs> period. I will see y'all in the next episode. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.